hello welcome to this video this is surprise action trading as you can see this is euro new zealand dollar one hour time frame and here we do trade price action as you guys can see here we've got a low right we've got a low here and then what happened we've got a higher low and then we've got another higher low so we can see that price is on the uptrend and then price is creating a higher lows into the resistance. Now, this is to show that the price, there is a momentum to the upside to take out this high, right? So normally when there is a momentum to the upside, the price will go and take the previous high. So we can see, we can say that this is a uh, resistant, right? R. We can say that's a resistance. And now price broke through the resistance. And now price is going to take the previous high. And you guys can see that our tech profit is just there right within our previous high. So we've got our tech profit um, here. We can see the tech profit is there. Uh, this place. We've got a take profit. Our take profit, right? And you guys can see that the stoplers, it's already, um, yeah, we've already caught our losses. So we've got our, our stoplers. If you guys can see that, our stoplers is here, right? Because we already caught our losses and let the profit run. So if you want to trade price action, this is how to do it. You just want to make sure that you are going with the momentum. And once you are going with the momentum and you're trading high probability trades, you will see your trade going in the right direction. You always want to take profit. You don't want to take losses, right? But losses is just part of trading. So for those of you guys who don't like taking losses, just try as much as possible so that you can make more profit than losses. So at the end of the day, you are trading with a good ratio, one ratio two, one ratio 1.5, one ratio three. So at the end of the day, even if you take few losses, you will still end up in profit. So this is how to trade because uh, in this trade for many guys out there or many traders out there who are just starting out when they look at this trade they will not buy actually they will be thinking of selling because they will say oh we can see it's forming like a head and shoulder uh yeah it's looking like the strength is weak uh we've got a range there, there's going to be like so many analysis around this trade but I tell you, this is always what happened. Now, imagine some of you guys or those who are just starting out, they put their stop loss, they shut this market, they put the stop loss where we put our take profit, the market will go hit their stop losses where we have our take profit, then the market will come back down. So they will be like, oh, I sold in... I am in a loss and now the market is back in the same direction that I'm going. Yeah, because you sold too early. So if I'm to sell this trade right now, I'm going to wait if this trade hit my take profit and then it ranges and shows that yes, this high has been res respected, tested and it's not able to break it then I can consider it for a shirt. But until I see a momentum for a sell, I won't sell. So I bought this because there was a momentum for a, for a buy. And that's why I jump into this trade as a buy. So this is how I trade on a daily basis. And if you like this video, click like, drop a comment, and then share it with someone who will need it. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe so that you will get notification each time I publish a new video. Click that notification bell and I uh, hope to see you 
in my next video. Thank you.